Hey everybody, this is Kelly of Kelly Sex Stories, and I'm on this website, the Latin Library, which I had learned about from the YouTuber, the Yatakinist one, and I will have his link at the bottom. And the thing that I found to be very interesting is how they listed, or they had claimed back then, that some of these Native American tribes uh, were performing um, sodomy and homosexuality, but right now I'm just going to concentrate on the term that the French had, which was called bird ashes. And bird ashes was referring to um, young guys, young boys, that were um, marrying older men, which I found very shocking. And they said that this happened allegedly in 1810. It said this treaty of Fort Wayne brought the Delawares, the, the Potomini, the Miami, the Eel River, Miami nations together to cede 3 million acres of their land along the Washbash River to the United States. Then it goes on to say that a man called Nicholas Beadle of the Lewis and Clark expedition noted that among the many Tory Indians, the effeminate boys were raised as females. Upon reaching puberty, the boys were then married to older men. The French called them bird ashes. Now, this is the first time I heard about this. And this could explain the reason why Aboriginal Native Americans, a.k.a. black males, why a lot of them are effeminate, because DNA remembers things that have happened in the past. Now, if you would like to look at some more videos of mine and also buy uh, self-health products, visit my website at www.